Welcome to this Google Apps screencast where I'll show you how to create a contact group from a spreadsheet list of email addresses. So I'm going to do this as a demo. Uh, so I'll be explaining along the way kind of what I did here. To make a contact group in Google, it's best to do this from the Gmail tool or just by specifically going to contacts. If you're in Gmail, you can get to contacts by clicking on mail and going to contacts, or you can go to contacts up in the black bar. Either way will get you to the contacts area. Before bringing in the email addresses, you first have to make a group. To make a group, down on this list on the left side, you'll see one of the choices near the bottom is new group. So I'm going to do this as an example of student email addresses that I'm going to bring into a group I'm going to create called 7red and I put in 2012-2013. I usually put the year in there so then I know at the end of the year I can delete that group and uh, maybe make a new fresh group for the following year. So here is the group. These are the groups here that I've already created. Click on that group so that it's red. That will show you whatever's in that group and currently there's nothing. So let's go get some email addresses to bring in. I'm going to switch over to Google Drive and in Google Drive, uh, specifically I'm doing this demo for Forest Park staff, we have the shared uh, Forest Park staff information folder. I'm going to click the little arrow here. Started organizing this a little better, putting some folders in here. I'm going to go into the Tech and ITLS folder, and in there is a spreadsheet called FPMS Students Email Addresses 2012-2013. If going this way to find the file is a little confusing, you can always come up and use the search bar, maybe type students email addresses or FPMS students email addresses, and you should find this file. So I'm going to go ahead and open that file up. This is just a file of uh, student Gmail addresses separated by house down here at the bottom. So house teachers, you would find your house. So I'm going to do this for 7red as an example. And I'm going to start on the first email address here at the top. I'm going to click and hold on that and drag all the way down to the bottom to select all of these. And I'm going to copy these email addresses. To do this, if you do it with the menus, make sure you use the edit menu at the top of the screen, not the edit menu in the spreadsheet. So I'm going to go up to edit, copy, or I can do my shortcut commands of command C or control C. I'm going to go back over to my contact manager. There's a button right here. That I can click on and that button says that uh, this is where I can add to this group so it opens this little text box I'm gonna do a paste either edit paste or command V so there are all the email addresses if you need this window to be bigger there's a little part in the corner here you can click on and drag to make this bigger uh, that just makes the viewing area bigger I can click add and all of those email addresses that were from a spreadsheet list automatically populate in here. So this group now, 7red2012-2013, will be available if I decide to go send an email message to my students. As an example, if I go to compose, whenever you send email, emails to a, a large group of students like this, I highly recommend you do them as a blind carbon copy. So I, I clicked on the BCC link there. So if I type 7red, up comes the group. I can click on that. It automatically puts in all their email addresses. The reason you should do students as a blind carbon copy is because then um, it's not, the students don't see each other's email addresses on that. So you don't run into a situation where somebody could reply to all and send a message back to all students. Uh, this just gives you a little bit better control. So usually what I do in the two line is I put my email in the two line. I put the students in the BCC if it's a mass message like this. And then I type my subject and my message and I send it off and the students only see that the message looks like it was sent to me. So that's just a good tip for, for Gmail in general. The other place this works well is if I was in Google Drive and I wanted to make a folder for my students, I would create a folder. I would title this with my last name, Kafka New Media Files. I hit Create. That folder gets created. I can then go to the options for that folder. I could share this folder to all my students. So I go into the Add People. We, you have to click in the Add People box, and then a choice shows up here that says Choose from Contacts. I click on Choose from Contacts, and there's a drop-down list here that has my different groups in it. So if I wanted to add all of the seven red students to this, there are, there are the students. I can click this All link to check them all, and I can hit Done. All the students are added. I can choose that they should only have view rights, and I could even add a message 
that would go out to them as well. So a lot of possibilities once you make a contact group and made that easy for you by already having the spreadsheet list of names that you can copy in to your contacts area. Hope that helps and thanks so much for watching.